We cannot turn back. And that's why I am running for re-election to continue to be the mayor of Baltimore City. Mayor Brandon Scott officially kicks off his re-election campaign at the Cahill Recreation Center Saturday afternoon. Baltimore, once again, has a choice to make about whether we will continue on the sustainable path forward or if we will go back to the broken ways and the failed leadership of the past. Scott spoke about how his administration has made progress on several issues in the city, such as violence. As I stand before you today, we have a 20% reduction in homicides in the city of Baltimore. A 9% reduction in non-fatal shootings in Baltimore, not me, we are on the track for the first time in nine years to be under 300 murders in Baltimore City. Scott says since he took office, the city has reached record unemployment at 2.4%, the lowest rate for vacant housing in a decade, and strong economic growth. Fostering opportunities for home ownership and working to bridge the racial wealth gap in Baltimore's middle neighborhoods. Investing $100 million toward addressing blight. He also talked about his plans for brand new recreation centers and investing in the city's youth. I know you remember every single night hearing about squeezy, 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 squeezy. When's the last time you heard it? Because those young people are connected. We're putting our arms around them. We're loving them and showing them solving an issue that has existed for far too long in Baltimore. He says that has an even deeper meaning to him because he's expecting a son. I'll be raising my own child right here in Baltimore, and I'll be fighting for my son just as hard as I will for yours because all of Baltimore's children I will treat like they're my own. Scott faces competition from Bob Wallace and most notably from former Mayor Sheila Dixon, who was recently endorsed by City Council Member Eric Costello. When these candidates start talking about the past and wanting to take us back there, we have to make sure that we ask ourselves, well, what exactly do they want to take us back to? Maybe they mean we should go back to the days when our political leaders acted as though what is done in the light will not come dark, will not come to the light. When they thought they could violate our trust because they thought eventually they wouldn't get caught putting their personal gain ahead of Baltimore's public's trust. And of course, stay with 11 News throughout the upcoming election cycle from candidate profiles to new endorsements. It's all there for you in the free TV 11 app. Make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an update.